Greetings travelers, today I'll be teaching you how to make these sims. In this tutorial, I'm expecting you to have some basic knowledge of synthesizers. So, without further ado, let's begin. The Vangeli sound is pretty simple. It consists mostly of these five fundamentals. Saw wave, phase detuning or unison detuning, attack, hold, and decay, sustain, release, filter, low pass, and lastly, a reverb. I'll be covering four different synths to make sure you get the gist of things. Feel free to skip to your preferred synth using timestamps I've put in this video. Here we are detuning the two sounds that are duplicates of each other giving us that phasing effect. Now we will enable this envelope for the filter. Let's turn up the amplitude. And make sure you select low pass. Just move the filter until you are satisfied with the sound. Okay, this sounds good. Let's change our ADSR. You can use Fruity Reverb or Fruity Reverb 2 in FL Studio, but I like to use a Serum as it has this massive, spacious sound to it, unlike any other. I like to use Hole with massive size and long decay of 7 to 8 seconds, no high cuts or low cuts, and medium spin effects. With a little bit of delay, you'll have this. And that's three times oscillator. With Serum, things will be a little bit more complicated, but it's the same principle. Find your saw wave. Begin adding unison and start detuning it or undoing the detune. Make sure it doesn't sound too off. That sounds good. But here I prepared my own little saw shape. It's pretty much the same, just reversed and adjusted with the sink. It's pretty much the same sound. Adjust your ADSR. Okay. 
I like to have a fairly short release on my synths, but you can make yours longer if you want. Now, to filters. You could use the filter right here, but I like to go to the effects. It's pretty much the same thing. Start adding your envelope from the ADSR to your filter. Add one to the cutoff and one to the resonance if you feel like it. The more control, the better. Speaking of control, I like to add a little bit more with an EQ here. This lets me bring out those really high frequencies and give it that epic sound. And finally, adding the reverb. Massive size, 7 seconds delay, no cuts, a little bit of spin and a little bit of depth. Make sure the mix is at around 50%. Feel free to mess with any of the settings to adjust your sound. In Massive, it's very simple. You already start with a saw. I like the second saw better. Okay. Let's go to our unison now. Select tool, make sure to switch pitch cutoff on, and start adjusting it till we hear the phasing effect. Not too much though. Okay, now let's do our ADSR. filters, make sure you select low pass 2. Put the envelope in the cutoff and adjust it as follows. Remember to mess around with the sounds just to make sure you get what you want. Last but not least, the reverb. Here I'm trying to use the Massive's reverb. It's not as good as Serums, but it gets the job done.
Last but not least, we have Flex. You can get it in Ethel Studio. You should be set at Dystopian Lead, which is pretty much the Vangelis sound. You can adjust the filters to your liking as well. Using the cutoff filters and the envelopes. Remember to experiment. You never know what you might come up with. You can also mess with the delay and the reverb settings. Or the vibrato and the unison up here. Very useful stuff. Thank you for watching. Ciao ciao.